Hi friends, I am Dr. Pratap Singh Atto. I have done MD in forensic medicine. And today we will continue with the abortion. In today's video, we will discuss about criminal abortion. Criminal abortion is a form of unlawful expulsion of products of conception at any stage of gestation by unqualified person or any qualified doctor can, can also be, be alleged in criminal abortion. So it is unlawful expulsion of products of conception. So here abortion is done not by regular means unlawfully and not done in any uh, government institute but it is done in the home or any village area or any outside. Motive of doing abortion, it is mainly because to read, get rid of the child following illicit intercourse with a view to avoid the shame or disgrace in case of widows, unmarried girls or married women. Mainly to remove any illicit or illegal, uh, uh, the child who is not required or for any, in the case law, in case of unmarried girls, widows or married women, to get rid of the child, it is done first. Or to prevent inconvenient addition to their family, where the woman does not want additional children. To hair, the hair presumed to may produce abortion of a female. In this case, to acquire the property, usually uh, it is deemed that a male child is required for hiring of a property. So the family members are prone to abort the female child so that they get the only to keep the male child. These are the main motives usually seen in case of criminal abortion. Going to legal aspects or the laws which are which are required which are present against the criminal abortion so mainly 312 to 316 ipc deals with abortion criminal abortion 312 ipc states thus whoever causes voluntary causes criminal abortion with the consent of the patient is liable to punish for over three years or fine and a woman is quick with the child in prison up to seven years so if the consent of a woman is taken and abortion is done it is three years and woman herself is quick means if she herself dies, tries to do criminal abortion, it is extended up to seven years. P30 IPC states that if a miscarriage is caused without the consent, it is 10 years. If abortion is done without the consent of the woman, it is 10 years of imprisonment. P14 IPC states if a pregnant woman dies from the, this act, then imprisonment up to 10 years and fine. That if because of criminal abortion, she, she dies, then or during the act of criminal abortion, she dies, then it is 10 years. So it comes under the category of culpable homicide. 315 IPC states any act done with the intent to prevent the child being born alive or cause its death before birth is punished with imprisonment up to 10 years or fine. So here the intention is present. So here the family members may not try to uh, cause criminal abortion, but they try to prevent the child from being born alive. So this includes uh, giving some kind of exercises or giving torture or some any means by which the abortion may occur naturally to the the to the pregnant woman. So they may try to give some exercises or some instruments or give some injury on the abdomen. So these are the acts done to prevent intent to prevent the child being alive. So in case in, in case that imprisonment to ten years is there. 316 IPC states any act which causes death of a quick unborn child amounts to culpable homicide, which is up to 10 years. So, here again, the act which causes death of any uh, quick unborn child, which is mainly the child who is more than 34 months of old, then it is up to 10 years and fine. So, these are some legal I, IPC sections which are associated with criminal abortion. Now, coming to methods by which criminal abortion are done, this can be categorized into abortion drugs, using drugs using violence or local violence. Drugs mainly, uh, they are, have no effect on the uterus or fetus. They usually act on the uh, uterus, it causes the contraction of uterus. They do not cause death of the fetus. Unless it is given in toxic doses, it can cause, can cause distress to women. It is usually done within two months of pregnancy. So they are mainly effective within two months of pregnancy. So these drugs include first is ecbolics, so this group of drugs causes uterine contractions like ergot preparations, synthetic estrogens, pituitary extract, strychnin or quinine locally or plant extract can also causes uterine contraction. Next group of drugs includes amnogogs. So these drugs initiate or increase menstrual flow. So this, this type of drugs usually causes a form of menstruation, artificial menses. It causes increased menstrual flow like example like estrogen, Savin, borax, or sanguinary chemicals can be used. Next type of abortion drink includes GI retents. 
So this causes GI irritants and reflex can cause uterine contraction. This causes irritation of uterus like purgate use, like which can be for purgation, it can be used castor oil or cotton oil or uh, magnesium sulfate can also be used. Next type of drugs include GI urinary tract irritants. It it they produce reflex uterine contraction because of irritation of GI tract, like catheteris, oil of turpentine, or phenyl oil. Whenever this type of chemicals are applied in a GI tract, like on the ureter, they can cause reflex uterine contractions. Then certain drugs having systemic toxicity can also cause uterine contraction and abortion. Inorganic irritants like lead, copper, iron, mercury chemicals, if given to the mother in the larger doses, can cause abortion. Uh, organic irritants like mainly the different plant, different irritant plants like abrus picatorius, calatropis, seeds of custard apple and carrots, undried fruits of papaya, pineapple. These are all types of irritants and cause uh, can cause criminal abortion because of reflex contra uterine contractions. Then certain abortion pills like which contains lead or diphenethylene can also cause criminal abortion. These are certain abortion pill drugs which are used to cause criminal abortion usually in the villages and by other means also. Now next method of use, uh, causing abortion is by using general violence. So these are done direct, it can be produced you are acting directly on the uterus or indirect to produce congestion of the pelvic organs or hemorrhage between uterus and membranes. So these are may act, these violences may act directly on the uterus or can produce congestion of pelvic organs or hemorrhage between uterus and membrane to cause colic. Abortion. This is usually again done which is once first month. They can be done intentionally or by accidental means. Intentionally, certain methods includes applying a pressure on the abdomen by kneeling, blows, kicks, tight bandages, and massage of uterus through abdomen wall. So these are methods of causing direct violence on the abdomen so that abortion may occur. Then issuing violent exercises like horse riding, cycling, skipping, or jumping from the height. These are exercises, violent exercises if mother does and can also cause gender violence. Intentionally, she may be given certain acts if she like uh, working in heavy way, picking up heavy weights, then jumping in that case is also can cause. Next step is cupping method. So in cupping method, there is a glass bowl or some bowl. Uh, it, it inside of the bowl is lit with some whisk or a hot air. So that the inside of the air, inside the air of the car becomes super hot, and this is placed uh, in, on the abdomen, usually near the fundus of the uterus. So once the it is placed on the uterus, the usually on the abdomen near the fundus of the uterus, the hot air which is present inside the cup gets slowly cooled down, and it sucks the tissue. So as it cools down, the air molecules shrinks, and because of suction the skin gets sucked inside the cup. So when it's sucked, the fundus gets also sucked and the placenta which is easily attached to the fundus gets separated from the uterus leading to separation of placenta from the uterus leading to abortion. Then giving hot and cold bath alternatively can also cause uh, abortion. So these are some general violence by which abortion can be caused. Accidentally, it can also be caused because uh, where gender shakeup in advanced pregnancy can produce abortion. This is not effective if the fetus is healthy, where abortion will not occur. Usually, if the fetus is already unhealthy, in that cases, general shakeup or general uh, way making the woman some excess can also cause accidental abortion. Now, coming to local violence. So, these are the methods which are applicable on the locally near the genitalia, usually the near the vagina, the, these methods are used. They are usually employed in the 3 to 4th month of pregnancy when other methods are failed. This can be done by interference maybe by skilled methods, semi-skilled or unskilled persons. Different instruments are used like abortion stick, then there is uh, elastic catheter, rectal catheter, syringe, then there is alum bark, then there is uh, irritant uh, plant, then there is lam laminary tent or uh, Haggison syringe, Haggison syringe. So these are different instruments which are used for causing local violences. So first method of local violence is syringing, where syringe is used to insert some irritant substances, which includes like uh, irritant, uh, irritant added to water, such as Lysol, Crisol, alum, or potassium permanganate, 
formalin or certain times just soap water or even giving of enema so enema syringe can also be used to insert this into the uterus this irritant fluid causes uh, uterine contraction and causes the abortion then syringe aspiration where large syringes are used with the plastic cannula inserted into the cervix and once the uh, suction is produced ruptures and suction is produced inside the uterus by dragging the plunger backward or by using the cannula which causes the gestation tract rupture leads to aspiration and expulsion of contents then vacuum expiration again the cervix is dilated to be attached to a suction cup and extraction of fetus is done this is mainly done by Haggison's syringe uh, where one end of is inserted in the cervix while the other end is placed one end is placed into the uterus other end is placed outside and the, there is a suction pump which is when pumped it sucks the one from one end so this suction causes the rupture of chest sac and contents it can, comes out next method is rupture of membranes so membranes are ruptured by any method like using of probe stick catheter pencil pen holder knitting needles or any even the hairpin where it is inserted in the cervix and rupture members are ruptured so as the members gets ruptured it causes the contraction contraction expulsion of the contents of the uh, gestation then use of abortion stick so abortion stick usually consists of wooden or a bamboo stick which is 12 to 18 cm long at the end of the stick one end there is a cotton wool is present cotton cloth or piece of cloth is placed which is soaked in juice of marking nut or some other calotropis or some other uh, irritant fluids or arsenic oxide or lead also and this is inserted into the vagina in this case they are done by dyes or or any other unqualified person and they are retained there till contraction starts instead of stick sometimes the twig of eaten plants like pambai rose or calotropis or nirem can also be used then dilatation of cervix is also another method by which abortion can be caused so dilatation of cervix is done by different methods like introducing foreign bodies and they are left in the cervix like pessaries laminary tent then di which dilates the cervix it takes the uterine mucosa causes marked congestion and uterine contraction with expression of fetus so mainly the when the, these instruments are placed they dilate the uterus sorry dilate the cervix and because of that uterine mucosa gets congested and uterine contraction causes expression of fetus to dilate the uterus other method includes compressed sponge again this sponge when it's placed it absorbs the moisture from the where cervix and dilates and causes the you can causes the abortion similarly slippery embark is also one more stick it also absorbs the moisture and causes the dilatation of cervix and abortion then area encephalation where air is introduced to the vagina and uterus by various means like pumps syringes leading to abortion then using electric current where electric uh, electricity of 110 volts is one end is placed on the posterior vagina wall and positive pole, pole is applied on the lumbosacral region when current is passed it passes from the uterus out from the uh, lumbosacral region to the vagina and causes contraction to contraction expression of fetus certain paste like uthas paste made of potassium iodide thymol and mercury when play, applied on the vulvular space it causes abortion because of heat and effect so those are the local virus methods now coming to complications of criminal abortion leading to death so complications as well as the causes of criminal abortion so this complication may lead to death of because of woman death of a woman because of abortion so immediate is sudden uh, immediately after causing abortion first one is the reflex vagal inhibition so as i mentioned reflex vagal inhibition is one of the cause of sudden death in this case because of instrumental evacuation or sudden dilatation of vagina and cervical wall it may lead since vagina since vagus is innervates most of the gi tract sudden evacuation or sudden dilatation of uterus can cause in stimulation of vagus now leading to reflex causing contraction stoppage of heart then the introduction of air embolism from faulty syringing so as i mentioned air insufflation method air is introduced to the uterus that air may escape, escape to the blood vessels and cause air embolism into heart and death pattern embolism where contents of uh, gestational stack 
may uh, may because of uh, yeah, during again vacuum aspiration some contents may enter the blood stream hemorrhage from injury to vagina uterine or pelvic vessels so during any methods of local violence there may be chance may occur where vagina or uterine vessels may get injured leading to hemorrhagic shock then amniotic fluid embolism may also occur where amniotic fluid may escape into the blood stream then poisoning some irritants because of abortion stick there may be systemic toxicity may also be occur because of long term absorption of that poisons then delayed causes septicemia following infection because of any instrument uh, instrumentation sometimes it may lead to septicemia then there is general hepatitis maker following perforation of uterus or by bowel of the instrument pyemia uh, from abscess toxemia local infection of the vagina tetanus may also occur these are some delayed causes systemic complication includes jaundice or hepatitis maker because of introduction of hepatitis virus renal failure maker endocarditis pneumonitis maker because infection of infection because infection may be introduced pulmonary embolism from dislodged thrombus in the blood stream and a toxic shock may occur because of again infection may also cause remote complications which may take longer time for acting like chronic debility may occur chronic pelvic pain may be the dyspnea where irregular submenses may occur ectopic pregnancy may occur where because of some injury in the uterus the pregnancy may occur in some other part other than the uterus secondary infertility may occur where the woman so the injury may be present in the ovaries and the woman may become infertile there may be cases where the woman may go for depression there may be systemic poison by absorption of abortion from drugs second infection may also occur in pneumonia or lymphoma or meningitis so these are some complications as well as the cause of death in case of criminal abortion now coming to medical legal aspects so medical legal aspects first of all we have to understand what are the different things which may occur in criminal abortion these are the medical questions which arise because of criminal abortion first and foremost is whether we have to know whether the woman was pregnant or not if the woman is claims criminal abortion we have to know, examine first if she was pregnant or not so proof of pregnancy is required for actual abortion to occur and this is mainly uh, is important in case of fabricated abortion where when woman is assaulted she may try to exaggerate the offense by alleging that it caused her to abort she may acquire some human or animal fetus to support the charge also so in these cases we have to know whether the woman was pregnant at time of assault and proof of pregnancy has to be done by examining the abdomen and other features then whether the woman was quick with the child so quick with the mean means if the woman herself has done the child again this is seven years of imprisonment is present and according to 339 ipc then whether the abortion is attempt or its attempt has been done with or without the consent of the woman in other case the punishment is by life imprisonment whether the death of the child was actually caused by act of abortion this is also important again if the child death has occurred because of some other reasons other than because of abortion like if the genetic component is there then the person is not liable for abortion so sometimes because of genetic abnormalities the child may get aborted and sometimes the woman or woman family members of one may claim criminal abortion on the alleged on the family members of the woman uh, sorry husband family husband's family members can be alleged in that case we have to understand whether the child was abnormal or unhealthy in that case it may have, uh, naturally may be abortion may have occurred then whether death of a woman was due to abortion or its attempt so this also we have to prove whether the abortion was directly related to death of a woman or woman was already in the state of uh, chronic infection chronic debilitating condition and this abortion has led to the death that also be, has to be answered now coming to medical importance of placenta so in any case of uh, abortion sometimes the placenta has to be examined and in certain conditions the abort efficient uh, that is gestation uh, products of gestation may not be obtained or just product placenta may be obtained and we have to know whether the placenta is uh, and we have to examine it and this may only placenta can, can also be useful to determine whether the, there was because of criminal abortion or natural abortion so placenta can give a duration of pregnancy also abnormal disease condition of placenta can result in spontaneous abortion so if the uh, some disease is present in the placenta it also directly indicates that abortion was not criminal but naturally 
injury to the placenta may point out to criminal abortion. So during uh, causing abortion by some violence, there is a chance that a person may get injured. So examine the placenta will give you idea that if there is injury, it indicates that there is a chance that it was a criminal abortion. Pieces of placenta tissue may retain in the uterus which for, confirm the diagnosis of abortion. If the woman is died uh, during process of criminal abortion and it is brought to the postmortem and while ex dissecting the uterus, you will not find the, any products of conception but parts of placenta which is found it indicates that she was pregnant and this placenta placenta positively indicates that she was undergone criminal abortion and because of that she died. So these are some importance of placenta. These are my references. Thank you.